welcome to Big Sandy. Uh, my name is Dimitri. I am with uh, Heavy Hitters team with Battlefield Vegas and I'm here today to uh, show you one of our main pieces of equipment we got here. This is a 122 millimeter howitzer. This is a Soviet gun designed in 50s and beginning of production started in 60s. The unique feature is that this gun is actually based on a three-legged platform. It actually allows that gun to rotate 360 degrees so you could basically fire in any direction if needed be. This gun also fires a uh, separate charge meaning projectile and a powder charge that goes behind the projectile are separated and the advantage of that type of a design is that you can adjust your powder charge depending on whatever target you need to hit. This gun will uh, fire this uh, a bit over 40 pound projectile at about 740 meters per second. The maximum range, firing range for the D30 is about right under 16 kilometers. Three, two, one! Gives you the tingles. I ride bikes super fast, but there's nothing like that adrenaline, that's for sure. <laughs> this gun was actually designed as a howitzer, but it could also be used for direct fire. This is the direct fire sight, where basically, as, the way, as you can see the way this gun is set up currently, uh, you see your uh, target straight ahead. And then, of course, it also has panoramic sight, this is it right here and uh, panoramic sight is actually designed to uh, hit targets when they are out of sight. This here is the control for the block. This is how you lower the block. You have your uh, recoil uh, measurement. Uh, basically that tells you if there is anything wrong with your cylinders, like your recoil, your replenisher cylinders, it tells you how far back it goes. <laughs> This is your trigger for the gun. This can be operated by hand or you can hook up a ring to it and you can fire from the distance. This weapon is somewhat unique. This weapon is actually, as you can see, has a, uh, I guess we can call it a trailer hitch in the front. It's actually attached to the muzzle brake of this gun. And I think it also gives it, because of that, it gives it somewhat of that unique look of, um, looks, you know, a bit more intimidating, I feel. Uh, yes, I do feel it's a, it's a very impressive machine um, because this weapon was designed in 1950s. Uh, it went into production in 60s, in 1963 to be exact. And uh, even today, there are still some countries uh, outside former Soviet Union that continue to produce and maintain these guns. Three, two, one!